Hello and welcome to this Python tutorial. Today I will be showing you how you can convert a color image to either grayscale or black and white. Now we will be using the PIL module and this is a perfect module for doing this sort of thing. It's really great for using images and manipulating them to look however you want them to look. So if you're interested in this module then this is a perfect tutorial to start. Let's get started. The first thing we need to do is find an image you want to convert to either grayscale or black and white. And I found my image and I've saved it in a directory where this shell reads from. And this is the image in question. It's got lines in like a rainbow of going from purple to red and then crossing into blue, green and yellow. And various gradients in between as well. And we're going to be converting this to grayscale but I also will be showing you how to convert it to black and white. So once you're happy with your image and you've saved it in the location you want to save it in, the next thing we need to do is import the PIL module. And I've given this the alias of P. So wherever you mention P, we are calling the PIL module. The next thing we need to do is import the image into our shell environment and open it with the PIL module so then we can start using the PIL module against this image. And how we do that is we type in P, calling the PIL module up here, p.image.open, and then in the open bracket, we type in the name of the image along with its extension, and putting the whole thing in quotation marks. And this matches the name of our image here along with its extension. And we're given that the equal to img. So img equals p to image to open, and then this opened image. The next thing we need to do is convert this image that we've imported into either grayscale or black and white. So this can all be done in one line in a very short command called convert. And how that works, if we type in img, calling the image we've opened, and type in dot and then convert, and then in brackets and in quotation marks, we type in L, which will convert it to grayscale, or you could type in one, which will convert it to black and white. Now in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to convert it to grayscale, and then I'll also, also be comparing the before and after. So once you've typed in img.convert, and then in the quotation marks and in the brackets of convert, typed in L, you're now ready to run this code and convert it to grayscale. So L will convert it to grayscale. I then equated that to IMG. So IMG is now the new IMG.convert. So what will happen here is the um, IMG equals p.image.open in our first line, which open the image. We've then reset the variable IMG to also include the converted black and white image. The next thing we need to do is we need to actually see the output. So this line converts it to black and white or grayscale, but we can't see the output. It's all done in the shell. So the next thing we need to do is we need to be able to see the output, and we can do that by saving it as a new image. So what I've done is I've typed in img.save, and .save will be a, enable us to see our output as a new image without overwriting the old image. And what I've done is I've given it a name and extension. So if I save that, so if I run that, I mean, you'll be able to see our before and after. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. So if I run it, if I click on the first one we had, and put that up here. If I click on our new one, this is our new one, our grayscale one. You can see here that we've got our various shades of grayscale. If I compare the before and after, you can see that it's worked out pretty well. And you can see lots of different colours. That's the reason why I chose this, to show you the grayscale across many, many different colours. You can see that it's worked very well here. So I hope you've enjoyed that tutorial. Please do subscribe to my channel and share it and also tell other people about it. And thank you very much for watching.